This is stress. It wants to be part of your life. It probably already is. These days, stress is everywhere. In fact, a part of the year is dedicated to it. April is Stress Awareness Month, but most of us are well aware of our stress. Rushing from one appointment to the next. Work, you know, uh, responsibilities, financial responsibilities. Every day is a pressure cooker and, and getting to deadlines. But I cannot stress enough, stress is an overused word. When someone says, oh, I'm stressed, what does that mean? You know, does it mean you have dislike for your job? Are you having trouble at home? What's really going on? Stress is the new buzzword. And the area where Canadians are feeling the most stress? I think the pressures at work can be a lot higher for individuals these days in terms of you have a lot more individuals, even with families, both husband and wife are both working, kids are in daycare. A recent survey showed that nearly two-thirds of Canadians suffer from job-related stress, and it may be leading to a new trend of job hopping. When we look across the country, from region to region and different age groups, everybody's moving. Wait a second. I was always told that job hopping was a bad thing and that what employers look for on a resume is job loyalty. I mean, doesn't jumping from job to job kind of appear flighty? Hey Gina, what are you doing? Nothing. The world's changing quickly and so we need people who have different skills, you know, different experiences and they can bring that to the table. You can't always get that through one employer. So employers now are looking at people who have been in different industries, had different roles, tried different things and worked with a lot of different people and can bring that and try new things within their organizations. Amazon is known for delivering products you buy on the web straight to your door. But the company also wants to be known for delivering a better work environment to its employees. Its pay-to-quit policy offers $5,000 to unhappy workers looking to leave. Amazon says in the long run, an employee who is staying where they don't want to be isn't healthy for the employee or the company. Translation, even your bosses want you to take responsibility. Yes, employers can come to the table and help out with that, but also we all just have to be able to really know and figure out how to manage our own stress because no one else is really going to do it for us. So employers may be more aware of your anxieties, but managing workplace stress shouldn't be solely left up to the managers. It should be dealt with by you. I'm Gina Phillips and this is a Sun News Special Report. Hello. <laughs>